Hey, what's up guys? Second Cooper over here back again with some more Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Oh yeah, so we got off. We took down the Black Knight, aka Penelope, and uh, we reduced her hold on uh, medieval England. Now we're in uh, we're in ancient uh, Arabia, I think. Arabia, yeah, Arabia, and uh, we're looking we're looking for Salim al Kupar, who seems to have vanished. So yeah, that's where we're starting. So, so Salim al Kupar and most of the 40 thieves just vanished. Don't know why. We're looking for Salim to see what's going on. Okay. Ancient Arabia, 1001 AD. Wow. It couldn't have made it, couldn't have made it more obvious if you, if you tried. And the safe is actually really close. Holy crap, this, this map is... Oh my god, this map is huge. Dude, what the heck? Why is this map so... Ow! Why did these things have to hurt? And why is there a camel? <laughs> Jeez, this noise is... Oh, hey, what's up? I wasn't looking... I wasn't looking to tussle. Ow! Get out of here. Crabs? That's just rude. And so why is the why is the safe so close? That's weird. Oh, hmm. Why can I why can I use this here? There's something over here, I guess. What's over here? I guess we'll find out. Something else. Yep, there is something else I can fire an arrow at. Alright. Let's find out what the heck is going on with this. Oh! What's behind door number one? Oh, it's a tr Okay, it's a treasure. Don't you dare. Okay, we gotta, we gotta go. Okay. I am really glad that I can just, like, run on that. It makes it so much easier. What is this, anyway? 100 ways to, 101 ways to cook scorpion? Dude. That's just weird. I'm pretty sure one of those ways is don't. Oh my god. Also, I like the I like the touch that this, that, that this takes place in 1001 AD, uh, aka like the like the Arabian Nights uh, thing. I think I think it's the Arabian Nights thing. So yeah. Oh, what the heck? Okay, what do we got? Okay, Sly. Word on the street is that Salim al Kupar was driven into hiding, but that he's still in the area. We need to figure out where he's hiding, and then find out why. To facilitate that, I've built you a new toy. Cool. Is it a robotic turtle butler? No. <laughs> After gathering data from your ancestors, I've been able to map the Cooper DNA. I've modified your binocucom with a new visual guidance system that I've programmed to detect anything with which Salim al Kupar may have come in contact. Hmm. Wow, Bentley. That's some real science fiction. Well, keep in mind, this is science fiction. Well, not, uh, I mean, technically it is, I guess, but I'm not sure. Oh my god, I was... Okay, well... Good thing I moved. Um, what does this guy have? What is this thing? Scorpion tail? Why is that worth 200? That is... Uh, like a scorpion tail? Being, being worth that much? I doubt it. Okay, well... 
Let's see. Gotta go this way. What's this? Bounce pad. One. Huh. Eh, I'm sure this will be used eventually. Maybe, uh, maybe Salim has use of it. I could be wrong, though. I usually, I usually am wrong about, like, how, uh, uh how some of the things are used. There's the bottle that I was looking for. Oh yeah, I don't take I don't take damage from water anymore, which is good. Need to remember that I don't take damage from water. Hang on, get down from here. Snake in there. Hmm. Clyde, that door definitely does not belong here. You'd better get a picture of that as well so I can analyze it. Snake. You don't don't you even dare. Snake. Why do I have to be zoomed in so far? Okay, Sly, you should get out of there and head for the village while I sort this out. I've marked a waypoint for you. Okay, let's go. I still need some more data, Sly. Keep searching. Okay. Let's go. Let's see uh, let's see where we can go. Where are you taking me? So you're taking me this way. I mean, where's this bottle? Is it up top? There's a snake. Okay. Yeah, where's this bottle? Give me that. A v Ooh, okay, that's pretty valuable. Goodbye. All right. I feel like I may need a new costume in order to deal with the snakes. Here's that bottle. Oh, it's up there. Okay. At least tell me I can get there. There's a rope here, so yes. There we go. Um. Right, what do you have? Pearl earring. That is worth. Uh, that is. That is not as valuable as that uh, as that ruby ring. So, yeah. Oh boy. There's a bottle on top of the fountain. That's interesting. Fly, use the binocucom. I'm detecting something near your location. Oh really? Well, I'm on the wrong side of the fountain. Follicle. What the heck? Well, Salim's obviously not neglecting his grooming. Yeah. You heard that? That is egregious. Okay, um. There we go. Go away. Ah! 
Goodbye. All right. I might, as, I might as well just grab the bottles while I'm here. Just, you know. Is there a rope up here? I really hope there is. Oh my god. That was so close. There's a treasure right here. I'm gonna have to come back for that. Well, that's interesting. Hey! Alright, yeah, just, just keep juggling ya. Because I messed up. Okay. I'm a little way out here. Just go this way. It's whatever. Of course. Uh, flying, uh, uh, flying carpet. You know. Uh, you know. No big deal. Oh, hey, what's up? Get out of here. Okay, I don't care. I don't care about that money. Um, let's see. So we gotta get out here. Yep. Alright. Dude. Okay, well, I wasn't gonna pick up the treasure right now anyway, just because I'm in the middle of looking for Selim. So, yeah. Alright. Go back. I'm in the middle of looking for Selim, yet I'm going for the bottles. Where is this one? Is it under? Yeah, it's under. There we go. What about the... Uh, what about the other one? Honestly, good question. Oh, boy. Alright, you're gone. Oh, it's up there. Uh, how do I get to that? Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out. Um, let's go this way. Oh, there's a bottle right over here? Huh. Hi! One second, Bentley. Where is it? It's in there. Sly, there's something close by. Use your binoculars. I'm aware. Heat imprint on a uh, carpet. This looks like a peaceful spot. I'll bet Salim uses this place for meditating. Eh, he might. Either that or it's a flying carpet, so, yeah. Odds are it's a flying carpet. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's there's one... There's a bottle up here. I don't... Oh. Not easy to get to it. I don't see anything that's springy. Oh, wait, this is springy, but it's, uh... It's... It won't spring me up that high. Whatever. Snake. Okay, give me that. Okay. Okay, this lady needs to go. Okay. Let's see. So I gotta get there. Don't think I can. Don't think I can easily enough. I can get this. There's a bottle... where? And there's one right here. Gotta move. No, whatever. Let's just... let's just keep moving. 
I'll do uh, I'll do the I'll do the clue bottle montage later in the video. So. Okay, where are we going? Don't make a sound. Ooh. Okay. I'm picking something up. Put your binoculars on, fly. Which way are we going? Over here. I see it. Is it? Cloth fiber. Interesting. Looks like Salim recently took this camel for a test drive. Okay, Sly. I'm collating all the data, and it appears Salim is on a boat? He's on a boat? That's interesting. Okay, well, let's, uh, I guess go... I guess we'll talk to him. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, some of the some of the ancestors, uh, some of the ancestors just aren't in trouble. Uh, I don't. Uh, okay, here's one of them. Out of here. Yeah, I still have no idea where the heck this bottle is. Am I missing something? I think I need to figure that one out. Just in the in the montage. Uh, Salim. Oh, this is the boat. There is a bottle on this boat. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Greetings. You're Salim Al Kapar, aren't you? And who are you? Uh, well, that part's kind of complicated. I'm a thief like you, but I'm kind of new in town. Keep how your turban you on. Back to my gang's hideout, and I can explain myself. How about you go lick a camel's hump? <laughs> okay. Look, I know you're in trouble. I'm here to help. I can explain everything, but let's go where we can talk safely. Besides, you look hungry. How would you like some food? Food? <laughs> it was foolish of you not to mention that in the first place. Let's go. <laughs> Back at the hideout, introductions went quickly as Salim stuffed his face. <laughs> he told us about his problem. Some new player calling herself Miss Decibel had rolled into town and started throwing lots of money around. Miss Decibel? It didn't take a genius to figure out who the time-traveling lieutenant was here. Salim and the three remaining thieves had decided to pull one last heist before disappearing into retirement. Miss Decibel being the target. Of course, with her technology, she had easily captured his thief brothers, and Salim had been trying to come up with a plan to free them ever since. Bentley uncovered some interesting background information. Miss Decibel had come from a wealthy British family. Her true love was classical music. Uh huh. Ooh. Unfortunately, her complete lack of musical talent, coupled with an extreme temper, made for a volatile combination. After suffering a freak accident during a tantrum, she was left unable to play music, normally. However, uh. when she discovered she could control people with her hypnotic tones, a what? new criminal was born. She began using her devious talents to control others, forcing them to commit crimes for her. We told Salim about the paradox, and the whole thing made some strange kind of sense to him. The bad news was that he wasn't completely convinced that we were there to help him. I could see I was going to have to prove myself. Again. Again. Like, oh my god. Of course, we have to prove, we have to prove it. Paraglider dive attack? Oh wow. Okay, that's a thing. 
Then we got Cuffs of Confusion. Any punch sends an enemy into temporary confusion. And then Meter Recharger automatically recharges the gadget meter in the blink of an eye. Ooh. Let's do both of these. I'll need to grab more money to get Cuffs of Confusion. But Sly, you're up. All right, I might as well go look for the bottles now. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch into montage mode. Okay, so so far what I figured out about Salim, I need I need him in order to climb this thing. It's too fragile for Sly to climb it. See, if I try to grab it, it just breaks instantly. This is interesting. This this part is combining a bunch of different costumes. So I just had to use the jailer. Uh, I just had to use the jailbird outfit to get through here. Now I have to use the saber tooth outfit to get over here. Oh, this is this is also jailbird. Oh, this is a. Oh, are you kidding me? This is a treasure. Oh, so I have to I have to use I have to use saber tooth to get back out. Okay, well I guess I could do this. Oh, I have a I have a lot of time. Okay, uh, so attack, and now we got to move. Okay, what is this thing? Marble horse head for two forty four. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, there are four bottles that I can't get right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with the, the this. Okay, apparently Salim lost a small fortune betting on the camels a while back and had to pawn his thief outfit. Oh really? Sly, if we could buy that outfit back for Salim, I'm sure we could gain his trust. The shopkeeper is a security freak, a real head case. His place is a fortress and he never leaves. All business is conducted through a slot in the door. I think this is one time we're going to have to play it straight and pay the man what he wants. Mm. As you might imagine, his price is pretty steep. The shopkeeper will only accept payment in the form of flawless gemstones. Three to be exact. What? The only gems of that quality around here are the decorative stones embedded in the city walls. I've located the three largest specimens for you. All you have to do is remove them, avoid the guards, and bring them to the shop. Just make sure those gems are still flawless when you get there. Oh, fun. Flawless gems. Of course, of course, of course. That's what he wants. Why do you have to be that specific? Oh, it's this one right here. Um, give me that. <laughs> Rose? Good job, Sly. That's one huge rock. Okay, yeah, definitely just need to avoid it. Just need to avoid detection. Because, like, if anything come if anything bad happens, then uh, I'm toast. Get away from me! I do not like these things. Uh, yeah, they are able to attack me for some reason. I can get out there later with my. Uh, I can get out there later with my costume. I'm not gonna do it now because uh, yeah. Eh, you know what? I'm sure. I'm sure Bentley would have. Uh, I'm sure Bentley would have words with me about like, "Oh, you're wasting time." But no, oh, whatever. Might as well see what the heck is going on out here. Is there a treasure? Is that what's going on over here? Oh yeah, yeah. This is definitely treasure. Oh wow. 
Oh, wait, what? So, Sly is the only one that can get out here, I think, because uh, I don't know if Salim has access to arrows. So, how do we... Huh, how do we get that? I guess we'll find out. Let's see. Well, the game's taking me over this way. Be fine, right? Let's see. It's up there. Um, okay, so we yep, jump here. These are weird statues. Ugh. Those are just weird statues. And I say I'd probably save the hardest one for last, but I uh, honestly I'm not sure. Where are all the guards? Oh, there's one. Hmm. Yeah, as soon as I say it, there's one on the mini map. Um, okay, there's a chick over there. Um, So we gotta go over here. Can I bounce on this? Yes. Here we go. Okay. safe. I'm not even gonna attempt uh, I'm not even gonna attempt stealing from the shot, uh, from the, uh, guards. Just to be safe. Alright. What do you want? I'm here to buy the thief outfit. Sorry, awesome party. I do not believe one such as yourself could meet my price. Good day. Oh, that's too bad. Ugh. I guess I'll just have to go bet these gems on the camel races. Wait, you have gems? Let me see. Man, these rocks are so heavy, I can barely lift them. You want the gems, I want the outfit. Do we have a deal? Indeed. If you want to purchase these old rags, who am I to object? All sales final, no returns. <laughs> this guy is crazy. Oh, wow. What? What will happen next? Be sure to tune in to the next episode of Sly Cooper Thieves in Time.